Yo, Vaysoth here. So, Wonder Wave is dropping pretty soon on May 22nd. I took the day off, so I'll be streaming that on my Twitch. Feel free to come by and hang out. Uh, but I do want to do some team composition, at least the team I'm going for. So, it's kind of like my, my plan. And a little background is I never got into the closed beta, so everything kind of theory crafting. But the play style I usually like to play is punching, kicking. I don't need a weapon. Uh, I don't need no sword or anything. My body is my weapon. I'm a fan of martial arts. So anytime I have a choice or I want to have an option to go punching, I will go punching. Okay. Punching characters are the way to go. So one of the main reasons why I'm excited for this game is there's gauntlets in this game to start off. It's like the starting. So we're gonna, for sure, we have the two five stars here. Xiang Qing and Ling Yang here. So those two are going to be in my party. And in the game... You only have like three characters in one party. So two of them are already slotted in. Okay, so we have Jin Xiang for the for the AoE mobs. So then she's like the arrow and then all her moves kind of like suck people in and put them together. Make it easy to AoE. A lot of AoE stuff. And she has counters, right? She's the Tai Chi girl. If you don't know, I guess I can go over a lot of Tai Chi. It's all about balance, pulling in and out right so you pull in the monsters, pull in the enemies you push them back out right you push them back out <laughs> and and i could go more with by the breathing technique you know breathe through your nose and then go to your stomach and come out with your mouth you know that that kind of thing but that's just the gist of tai chi and then we have the line dancing boy here right line dancing jumping on pillars there is a video out on these two surprisingly those are the only two i watched really <laughs> This guy is a glacial character, and he does a lot of air combos and like just jumping up and down because you know line 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 dancing, a lot of jumping and stuff like that. So I'm excited for that. So those two are the characters I'm going for, and obviously the third character is kind of like up in the air. But the best one would be obviously the five star, Verena, because she is like the healer. So at the for the third character, I don't really care too much about the skills and stuff. All I care is about transitioning because it's for like switching in and out. The actual skill, recover based on her attack and heals the enemy. There is another healer, which is the four star, which is the free one. So if I somehow don't get her, right, there is a four star version. Let's see. And also ice by Bai Chi. Also has transition skill. Medical support based on her life. So you probably want to run like full health and stuff. And it increases the character damage instead of her. We're depending on on her dam her attack, right? Her attack is for the heals. Uh Bang Chi is for her life. And then just 15% total damage. And then I believe Bang Chi is 15% total damage too. While the healing is in effect. Lasting six seconds. This one lasted 30 seconds. Oh my god, right? It's just a better version. So those are the main ones I'm going for. If I somehow don't get it, but I will get it, right? If I might have to wail if I don't get it, but hope, don't 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 jinx me. Don't 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 mess up with my uh curl game. Don't mess with my uh raids, please. Okay. So there's also I think another character that's electro right here that's also gauntlets. So if if and things if I don't get like those two characters, then I'll probably run him. Uh, I haven't looked too much in his skills and whatnot, but yeah, that that's uh, there's this guy that looks like a mafia boss kind of thing. So let's go over their skills. All right, let's go over Jiang Qing here. So let's look at her active skills. She had the basic combo: heavy attack, mid air attack, dodge, uh, counter. Uh, so if you dodge and you press the basic attack, it'll do regular kind. If she has the skill that also does it, if you long press it, and then when the parry is successful, you become immune, and then you block. So you kind of have like two dodge counters in a way. <laughs> uh, obvious, and if the, you don't actually hit anyone or whatever, you can press, you can release it, and it'll just do an attack. So like you're doing a counter, and then nothing happens. Like okay, I get out of it, move along. And her ultimate actually sucks everyone into CT, and then at the end, it just hits everyone again, right? That's pretty good, right? It's like Venti, in a way. 
Then we have the Forte Circuit skill. So doing the basic attack and the skills and also the intro skill here, which is when she pulled enemies towards her. Um, causing an arrow damage and then finally juggling. Um, doing that, it gives you chi and then maximum chi, you press a heavy attack. And then she would do like an AoE thing where she can barely get interrupted and damage taken is cut by half. Right? And then it hits like three times, like at least the video I seen. One, two, three. And then at the end, you get a shield. So it looks pretty OP. At least it's cool to me. It looks cool to me. Okay. And all right, let's quickly go over Ling Yang, at least from what I read and seen. So he has some basic combos here, right? He's a lot of combo oriented. So he's like five of combos to change to some other move. And then if you do a skill, it also uh, active. <laughs> Yeah, it attacks a target and it doesn't interrupt interrupt it. So you can do this in between. And this also changes the other move, right? It changes this. If you're doing the combo here and then you do the skill, it becomes swift punches. And if you do swift punches, it changes this fifth root to feral roars. And if you do feral roar, you basically attack again. You do dirt and then you jump straight into the dirt attack combo string. There's a lot of combo involving here. And then his ultimate is that he's, he's, I guess he takes the lion head and he comes down and he gives a blessing to himself. And this actually also increases his forte circuit. And the circuit is this, he uses lion spirit. So when you're doing leap, leap angry chase, I'm assuming that's the, the heavy mid air attack stuff, right? So it is, it is a, a leap angry, right? So it's kind of like when he does the jump and stuff, I'm assuming that's what it is. It doesn't say on here, but um you can get lion spirit and then when he comes in also get spirit and then when casting the, the ultimate i believe he also gets spirit um and then when it's full he can go into this striding lion state and then it also gets consumed so uh let's see is there another leap thing leap that's the only thing so he goes in this and he can do like a lot of aerial combos and it just becomes a. <laughs> You can just keep doing arrow combo, just can like stay in air and stuff like that. Uh, and trying it was replaced with line prancing, and then a lot of skills that just change. And then when it's less than ten, basic attack to catch base skill to do stormy kicks when he goes. Da, 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 da. That's what I seen, you know, like Liu Kang kicks, but going downwards on the enemy. But yeah, um, that's what I'm excited for. I haven't looked into her too much. I just care more about this. It's more like there's only like two healers in this game, like this one and Baishi. So uh that that's what it is it's just gonna be supporting these two characters that i'm gonna be maining and if i don't get them no you know what i will get them that's that's what's gonna happen so come by the stream i'll see you guys then hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick video with that later days